Here in Mason County, volunteers went on the hunt for vote fraud using addresses they got from voter registration records. At Coulter Creek Road in Belfair, they turned left onto a street lined with trees and vacant lots. A property on this street is exhibit number one in a report of confirmed voter anomalies from the Mason County Voter Research Project. The report says this is vacant land, yet four voters are registered at this address who voted in the 2020 general election. Listing vacant land could be a violation because voters are required to register the address where they live. Is it really voter fraud? We came to Mason County to find out and pretty quickly learned it wasn't voters who did anything wrong. Are there actually four registered voters here? There should be, yeah. Tabitha lives at this home on Coulter Creek Road, where there are four registered voters, her family members. Me and my husband and then my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. Voter Research Project's own records list her correct address, but it appears the group's canvassers turned left onto Coulter Creek Road when they should have gone right on Coulter Creek Road South, where there are several houses. We tracked you down, pretty mm -hmm. straightforward. Yes. What would you say about their, their methods? Yeah, that they need to do more research and it, it really didn't seem that difficult to find us. Hello, anybody home? The canvassers also missed this Coulter Creek address, again visiting the wrong side of the road, another vacant lot highlighted in their report. So there's two registered voters here. Yes. Yeah. I really think it just seems like an error in how it was documented. So that's two registered voters at this address that are legit. There's four more down the street that are legit. So with this one stop alone, we've been able to strike six voter anomalies on their list. The voter research report says volunteers found 239 voter anomalies in Mason County after several months of canvassing door to door this year and last. My name's Chris Ingalls, I'm a reporter from King 5. We're just going to several different addresses that they put in their report. Sure. We put their findings to the test. Here's an address where they supposedly have four different registered voters at one address. Yeah, I'm researching a potential story on voter registration. Visiting about a dozen and a half addresses to investigate their most striking claims. <laughs> Did a dead man vote from this Shelton address? The report says a voter who died in the summer of 2019 cast a ballot in 2020. County elections got a post office notice that the man moved to Arizona in 2021, where he died later. Info we confirmed with two neighbors. So a dead man didn't vote, at least not from this address. Does that make any sense to you? No. They said you were a ghost voter. <laughs> Canvassers claim they talked to Mary, who said she didn't vote in the 2020 election, although records show a ballot cast in her name. They wrote that a mysterious ghost voter cast her ballot. When was the last time you think you voted? I don't know. Mary didn't recall canvassers coming to her door and couldn't confirm the accuracy of what they reported about her. Andrew was registered here. Andrew right. was registered here. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Uh, about two years ago, he moved. Do you get ballots for anybody? No. No? The report says something about people being registered here, but they don't actually live here. I honestly don't remember them asking anything. Sometimes the truth could be found in the report itself. This voter in the Coast Guard, like any military member, can legally stay registered at their last Washington address and have their ballot mailed overseas. This is 925 Thomas Avenue? No. Oh, it's not. We made mistakes while canvassing addresses, so it is easy to do. But overall, we found most of the voter registrations we checked out were not anomalies. They could be explained or verified as legitimate voters. Hi, this is Mason County Elections calling. At Mason County Elections, where workers are constantly updating voter registration rules. I've been doing elections work since 2000. The county auditor says 80% of the reported anomalies were either already known or just wrong. They have identified 67 voters that I would describe as possible anomalies. Not confirmed anomalies, but possible. We have 44,500 registered voters in, multiple, in Mason County. You know, one is too many, but 67 is a pretty small number. I'm happy to introduce you to Steve Dunkel, who's running for Mason County Auditor. Steve the report's author, former Boeing manager Steve Dunkel, is an election denier who's running for the Mason County Auditor's Office on an election fraud platform. There's a lot of questions out there about our voting machines, a lot of uncertainty. Dunkel did not respond to our repeated requests for an interview. 
His report isn't entirely wrong. It lists 12 voters registered to post office boxes inside this Belfair store instead of their actual home addresses. Are they allowed to register at a P.O. box? No. Auditor Patty McGuire says he significantly reduced post office box registrations three years ago using new software that identified about 100 voters registered to P.O. boxes. What we have done in all of those cases is mailed those voters a notice and said, please update your registration, uh, tell us where you live. Isn't that enough to cancel their registration? Not under law, no. If you're the auditor and you know people are improperly registered to vote there and you can't do anything about it, that's a problem. You know, I think it's important to recognize that small issues don't mean fraud. Does that make any sense to you? Uh, no, it doesn't. And that's what we found out on the streets. They might have got the wrong address. Small issues, some misunderstandings, all part of a democracy striving for full and fair elections. I appreciate your answer to my questions. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Couldn't yeah. be more help. No, you were helpful. Thank you. Citizens can challenge a voter's registration and the auditor will investigate, but Auditor Patty McGuire says in Mason County, no challenges have been filed either before or after this report. So we'll be watching to see if his opponent in Mason County or any other candidate uses this report or one like it to claim an election has been stolen. Joyce and Greg, that's when things get interesting if somebody makes that claim here. So you started in Mason County. Are you gonna be looking at some other counties too? Yeah, absolutely. These election integrity groups, as they call themselves, are active in other counties as well. Uh, so this isn't just happening in uh, the national swing states. It's here in Washington. So in the coming weeks, we'll look at the fraud crusades that are unfolding in other counties as well. It just gets so muddy out there. But I, I think you clarified it really well with like some of these are just a lot of the little things or misunderstandings. Yeah, and that's what we found. I mean, we never we didn't find one evidence of a vote being miscast or an illegal vote. It's still or not a perfect fraud. system. Right. Yeah, right. You'll keep wow. looking. Thanks.